Renowned veteran activist and giant of the liberation struggle, poet Professor William Kirapetze Khositsile will be laid to rest on January the 16th. Professor Khositsile was South Africa's second National Poet Laureate and a recipient of the National Order of Ikamanga for his contribution to the field of literature. President Jacob Zuma has declared a special official funeral for the late poet Professor William Kirapetze Khositsile. The national flag will be flown at half mast at every flag station on the 16th of January, the day of the funeral. Deputy President Sir Ramaphosa will deliver the eulogy at that funeral. When I joined in studio by Stanley Litswalo, who is the organizer for the memorial service for Professor Hositsile that will take place in Houghton on Wednesday. Welcome to you. Thank you very much. You know, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Just take us through perhaps some of the preparations uh, leading up to that uh, memorial service. Um, look, um, just to give a uh, background, um, Professor Hositsile was actually a member of the branch executive committee of the ANC um, in the John Gadimeng branch, which is formerly known as the Houghton branch. And um, we came together as the collective and said, it's only fair that we give our stalwart, you know, um, a revolutionary send-off. And that's how we then came about to then arrange for um, a memorial service as the branch, as the ANC. Of course, this does not take away the fact that um, there will be a state um, funeral and of course there will be a memorial service which is arranged by um, the office of the presidency and of course the committee which is led by um, Comrade Mandla Langa himself. Mm -hmm. Yes. But then this one is specifically for the branch, but everybody's invited. No, of course. Um, if you remember last year, we actually honored um, our veterans. Um, uh, amongst those, it was Professor Hositsile, um, Wali Siroti, and Mandla Langa. So, of course, this is. Um, this is uh, consistent with what we have been doing as the organization of obviously appreciating our you know, veterans um, mm -hmm. even while they're still alive. And of course, this only came as um, you know, a thought that let's do um, the honorable thing by obviously doing a revolutionary send off um, prior to you know, um, the family then given the final um, part of, you know, uh, saying goodbye to one of their own. Um, we all know that Professor Hositsile was a well-known stalwart of the organization and um, we only thought that it's only fair that as someone who was very active in the ANC, particularly in our branch, um, it's only fair that, you know, we we do the honorable thing. This is something that he would have loved. And of course, um, this is our last goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, now talk us through your interactions with, uh, with uh, Professor Khosidzi. Look, um, uh, a lot of people do not know. Um, I've actually been uh, mentored by Professor Khosidzi um, when I first became the secretary of the ANC in the Houghton branch. Um, he saw it as his duty to actually groom me um, and you know share with me um, the history of the organization and obviously one would draw a lot of wisdom and um, one would obviously take guidance and say look you you know you are fresh from the youth league you are raw but in the ANC this is how you obviously need you know to present yourself and what involves in you being a leader of the ANC mm. and um, you know one would obviously appreciate um, a lot of his poetry, his writings, and um, his work in the arts and culture industry as well. Mm. Um, one knows very well that um, um, Professor Hositsile com contributed immensely well, um, you know, in the departments of arts and culture. And, um, you know, one appreciated what arts and culture can actually do in society, how it can actually influence society. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then beyond this, now in terms of the memorial service, what time is it? And uh, perhaps directions and our family members? Uh, is there at least a few people coming from the family to represent uh, the Hosatila family? Okay. Um, the memorial service will obviously take place um, on the 10th, which is tomorrow and um, it will start at half past five. Okay. Um, we are expecting the family to come um, because they are aware that um, Professor Hositsile belonged to this branch mm. um, and uh, the family will be in attendance and we will obviously have someone from the family who will obviously speak 
um, on behalf of the family. Um, and it will take place at the Houghton Primary School. Oh, right. um, I think everyone can locate the, the Houghton, Houghton Primary, Primary School. School. Um, it's on First Avenue in Houghton. Um, and I think it, it's easy to, to, you know, to locate yourself mm -hmm. there. And then it's an hour-long program or two hours? How it long will, will it be? It will be more than that. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll tell you why. Because you know, um, our program seeks to you know, give space to not only the ANC itself, but um, to those who come from, you know, um, the fraternity of writers, mm. poets, um, the family as well, and even those who, you know, um, we know that have been in Prof's life, uh, obviously would want to give them that space. But it does not take away the fact that um, the memorial service that will take place um, on the 11th will obviously then cater for other Mm -hmm. um, you know, fraternity, but uh, specifically this is more for the family, the ANC uh, branch, and of course uh, those who were also in prof circles amongst the writers. Mm -hmm. yes. so it certainly sounds like it will be a beautiful memorial service there with the diverse group of speakers. Now we're now joined rather, on that note, it's more news and updates on the other side of this break.